Good morning and welcome to Ian Paul. Today I am going to the World Championship Snooker which is at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield. It is about quarter to seven in the morning. I am really tired and I will probably fall asleep whilst watching snooker today. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go going with Mark. Uh, we've got to get a tram or the Met and then we've got to get a train uh, and then we've got to get there for 10am. Um, so let's see how this goes. It's now about seven o'clock and it's a beautiful morning. Uh, I'm going to meet Mark at the tram station and then, uh, yeah, we're going to head on our way. Uh, I'm still so tired. We are here in Sheffield. Oh, I'm here with Mark, by the way. Mark's yeah, oh, looking Mark. all cool and stuff, yeah. <laughs> so, where do we go, Mark? Because I'm lost already. Uh, well, this is the Sheffield station. I mean, we're only about five minutes away from the Crucible, but I um, thought I'd point out this nice water, water feature of, of the, uh, the nice waterfall. I've never seen uh, walls on water combined. This is uh, the video for you. <laughs> Don't forget to give it a like for the water. <laughs> That's where they film all the stuff on the BBC and all that. And the Crucible is just over there. Or the Crucal, as I can see on my camera. <laughs> Steve Davis is all that owning bollocks from people that know how to play snooker when they're ringing. Yeah, saying, how do you hit a ball? <laughs> how do you hold a cue? How do I use topspin? How do I snooker? So I'm just sat outside, waiting. Not half nine, is it? Oh, more food. More food for Mark. And uh, doing uh, the interview with Ding we uh, was on for a 147 and ended up going for a blue at some point because he just completely lost focus or didn't see or something. Yeah, I just don't know, just kind of brain fart. Yeah. <laughs> We're going in, don't know what we're allowed to film or not or what however, so we'll just wait and see. <laughs> just go, oi! Oh. <laughs> stuff down there. Down there. The snooker one because it's, well, it's got people basically snooker on it. though. Mark is uh, currently trying to win. Uh, what tickets to the final? He's gonna win! He's gonna win! He doesn't want to miss my uh, final match, do you? Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it seems, you know, people come all the way down to watch him, then might as, well, might as well try and get tickets. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, I'm filming the cameraman, how does that feel? <laughs> yeah, it's the same cameraman, it's always the same cameraman. Yeah. So we're going to be putting a, what, a 20p on table one. <laughs> yeah, we're next on table one. Yeah, we're next to table me and Mark, so just check on the BBC two. <laughs> Oh, we have, we've got Ronnie and the Rad Bronze on this side. All right, we've got Ronnie on this side against uh, Craig Stedman, who's part of what is it, Manchester? Yeah, he plays in the Manchester Open. Manchester Open, so yeah. he played the Manchester League, so he's done well to get in. Yeah, they always had technical problems last year. One of the one of the scoring things, things had failed. To get, they had to bring an old scoreboard out. Oh yeah, I think I saw that on YouTube. They had a, yeah, <laughs> well, proper old school scoreboard that old clubs have got. <laughs> What centre spot, please? Have you all got a set there? This gentleman bought me a ticket so far. I felt sorry for him. Did you? I did, yeah. Must be something wrong. What are you feeling sorry for me? So, where's the commentary box? Is that it? Just 
Yeah. Over there. That's the cameras, the lower ones for, for taking photos, but there's the papers, as you can see, like, it's all with a massive fuck off camera in there. And then you just, just above, the look, look of it reflected, but just above oh, yeah. those two commentary boxes. We, we're at an angle, so we won't, we won't be able to see you in them. You can hear, though, because you've got the power of radio. Yeah. As Mark said, uh, when that comes down, we'll actually be able to see both tables. So we actually get two frames for the price of one, really. Oh, it's not bad, seeing as Ronnie has sort of 70 up, so it's going to be... Yeah, that's true. Oh, exactly. We're allowed to stay in, I'm sure, in the box, you have a table. Yeah, yeah you can yeah. sit down, because when that finishes, they'll bring the partition up. So oh, yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Because they can't see anything over there, and I'm not when the partition's down. And she's just carried on with the trench. She buys all the tickets. Yeah. Oh, there's, uh, what's it, Rob, is it Rob Walker? No. Well, yeah, yeah. Rob Walker. Guy always wears the same suit, for some reason, the first. Yeah. It wears the same suit, does it? Yeah, it wears the same suit all the time. Usually buy three seats together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, OK, we've got about five minutes to go. Great to see so many of you in again this morning. Can we just do the whole head mastery routine? Please, can you now make sure that you have switched your mobile phones off? We really would appreciate that. What's, what's going on there? Let's make sure this... Your phone went off yesterday. Make sure this is uh, turned off. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I reckon you owe the boys a pint for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, seriously, guys, I'm sure it was an accident, and I'm sure you had it turned off within about two rings. Please, please, the reason I bang on about the phones... Okay. Right, that's no, it's normal absolutely photo. absolutely vital normal photo. you just double-check <laughs> those mobile phones. <laughs> I'm sure you all work it's extremely kill hard someone. <laughs> throughout the week or weekends. That looks like it's going to kill yeah. Please, please, you've got the best seats in the house this afternoon. Looks like he's morning, making a cunning We've got plan. brilliant entertainment for you. Please, he looks just normal. reach yeah, into those pockets and turn marks, those back. Yeah. We'll see all the marks. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, 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 remember all the marks. All the marks. Please make sure you don't interrupt the drama. There's too many bleeding marks in here. There will be plenty of it. Sorry. You fucking what? Another mark there, see? Another mark. See, 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 <laughs> marvellous Mark. <laughs> it's so funny if it's a picture of you in there. Let's say good morning and yeah. shake it off as we uh, prepare for action yeah. this morning. He's going to be live on the feed, as are all of you, and live on Eurosport, not yet. What? Oh, right. <laughs> well, one of your finest to see him journeying up here to share with you. Apparently he's the phantom clapper, uh, he just claps morning, all the time. Hey, <laughs> thank you, really fun. Yeah, it's not a really thought you were met when I was about eight. Jacking off, headphones on, he'll be rocking and rolling this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, John Virgo. Hey, that's him, but he's behind that behind there. And the rigging. So we just watched the, uh, what, Ronnie V, Craig Stedman. Yeah, was it Craig 10? didn't turn up, really. Craig didn't turn up there. 10-3 to Ronnie in the end. Ronnie wasn't really all there either, I would say, because there was quite a few opportunities that Craig had, I think. He was missed him. Yeah, he was missed all opportunities. I don't think he believed he was going to win being a seven, seven, seven three behind him to start off with. Yeah. So we're going to watch uh, Joe Perry and some other guy. New guy. Yeah, I think. There'll, there'll be loads more of this in-depth analysis. <laughs> yeah, you know, to like, bear with the details. You know, yeah. If we're, we're <laughs> if we're giving too much detail, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, like Joe Perry, some dude. Uh, some dude. We're gonna play, watch some balls on the table and stuff. <laughs> so we are heading over to. Uh, we're actually in a different country. Um, <laughs> to the uh, bit where they do the filming on the stuff with the presenters and stuff. <laughs> Details! <laughs> oh, there we go, what's going on over here? Ah, oh, so there's where the uh, presenters normally are. Well, some, some guys playing snooker with some guys playing snooker. Them. Or trying, should I say. Mate, the game's very hard when you can't see. Jump out at the Stephen Andrews.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am of course talking about the 10 time ladies world champion who took, by the way, the darling of Dublin, Ken Doherty, almost all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to introduce, as I said, 10 time women's world champion who only lost 10 8 to Ken Doherty. It's Rian Evans. <laughs> And his opponent, a player who has battled back into the game's elite for another tilt at the title he's already won twice. He is without doubt one of the finest sportsmen his country has ever produced. Winner of 18 major titles, and he absolutely loves being reminded that he's the reigning world seniors champion. <laughs> Into his early 40s, he's not ready for the snooker pension just yet. So fire it up, Mark Williams! Table one, please welcome a player making his second successive appearance here at the Crucible. Three times a ranking event quarter finalist, including this season's Wuxi Classic. Great to see him back in the game after a life threatening virus temporarily forced him into retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, he is proudly flying the flag for Finland. He's Robin Hull! <laughs> Please welcome a player making his 13th appearance at the Crucible. Ten years after winning here as a qualifier, and seven years after winning the UK title, he completed Snooker's Triple Crown at the Masters in January. He is a player back to his very best. He's a class act on and off the base. So please welcome Sean the Magician Murphy! Leaving now. Leaving now. <laughs> so we just watched uh, Matthew Stevens, Mark Williams, Matthew Stevens won, played really well, and Sean Murphy against Robin Hall. Sean Murphy played really well. He was on his way to a maximum and then just failed at a shot for some reason. Uh, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Don't forget all the all. Don't forget all the bits of the pearls of wisdom that are on this video. Details, oh. details, people. Oh, oh, remember it all. You won't, be, you won't be able to come to the World Championship unless you watch this video. We're snooker folk. We know what we're talking about.